Hi, and welcome to Faith in Front. Today, the point of this video is just really quick. Um, it's basically really to just um, apologize. Um, I posted a video. It's no longer up, but I did post a video. Uh, and the video was uh, dealing with uh, a drag queen that, well, they have these videos out where kids can meet a drag queen. And in this video, they were conversing with a drag queen and the drag queen was telling them about doing drag and about, you know, being gay and things like that. And these children, I think they probably range from maybe six to maybe the oldest, 10 years old or something like that. And that was the, it was my reaction to that video. And as I watched it back, and you you know, this is the thing too, you need to have people in your life that'll hold you accountable uh, and be honest with you, even if you may not like it when they originally do it, it's good, it's good to have accountability in your life. Uh, first, me and my wife, she came to me and she was like, you seem like you were just angry. <laughs> And uh, and then my best friend, he he watched it and he said the same thing. He said, yeah, you you seemed angry. And so that's the reason for my apology, because I don't want to offend. The only thing I want in my life to offend is the gospel, uh, because scripture teaches that the gospel will offend people. And, and because that's just the way it is. Um, but I don't want to offend uh I don't want to be the the, the point uh, of of the offense, and so that's why I'm apologizing. I watched it and I realized I didn't really have the right disposition. Scripture tells us that we are to speak the truth in love, right? Uh, we are to speak the truth, but we are to speak the truth in love. We are to speak the truth with compassion, and I didn't have the compassion part <laughs> that particular time, so. That's why the that's why I took the video down was because uh, I you know, I want to represent the Lord the right way, and sometimes when we tell the truth and and and, and those type of topics they do they do bother me, um, but that's still no excuse for uh, me allowing that to uh, have the wrong disposition when talking about things of the Lord and how we are to navigate through this life with a biblical worldview. Uh, and so that's why the video was taken down. Uh, that's why I'm apologizing uh, for my disposition because I, I, I want to be a good ambassador, a good uh, representative of Jesus Christ. And then too, I just wanted to give a point of, of clarity. Um, near the end, I brought politics in. I mentioned the Democratic Party and and I knew that that would probably ruffle some feathers of of, of some, um, but just as a point of clarity, if I mention um, up up, and I mentioned it because by majority the Democratic Party is a lot of the policies being put in place it, it does support uh, what the video was about um, about the you know drag queens going into schools and things and things like that. Um, but just know that. Uh, if I say if, and that's why I brought up that party, because that because they as a whole, there may be some Republicans that do. And if the Republicans that do, then they're, they're just as bad. I mean, sometimes when you mention something negative about a political party, people think that you have a loyalty to the other one. And just for clarity, my loyalty is to, to the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, someone commented, you know, hey, we shouldn't bring politics in. Um, I think that's deception um, when we say we shouldn't talk about politics um, because it's in that realm where our convictions, our worldview as Christians can be protected or taken. So I don't think it's something that we shouldn't um, look at. Um, there are already policies in place that's clamping down on the Christian voice. Uh, and so we have to be uh, aware, aware of of that, um, religious freedom is important to me. For me to be able to be a Christian in my home, in my church, wherever I go, and and if we're honest, I think most of us will conclude that that's being that's becoming harder um, for us. Um, is to, to to just be who we are. I'm not saying have the freedom to go banging you know the Bible on everyone's head, but if 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 
I have a conviction that goes against what the culture is saying. Uh, I want the freedom to be able to 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 say what my conviction is um, without being labeled. But I understand, too, that persecution will come when you stand for Christ. And so I can roll with that. So I just wanted to um, be, bring some clarity to when I did bring the political um, piece in. Um, someone said, you know, in the comments that Jesus is supposed to be our ultimate. And it's true. Uh, Jesus ultimately is our king. Um, he's our ultimate source of protection. Uh, and, and I think I even gave an illustration to someone. I don't know if they um, fully understood it, but you know, we, we, we have alarm systems on our home, alarm systems on our cars. Um, but we understand that Jesus is our ultimate source of protection. Um, there are people who, who carry, you know, who, who carry guns. You know, I, I don't say, Hey, put that gun away. You, you need to, that shows you're not dependent on Jesus. Um, the whole point of that illustration was just to say that, yes, as Christians, Jesus is our king and, and our ultimate loyalty is to him. But we do do things practically uh, as well, just like we do in all other parts of life um, to to protect ourselves. Right. You know, we put our seat belt on, you know, we don't not put it on and say, well, Jesus is going to protect me. We, we just do what we can do. And I think when it comes to um, the political process, that's just another practical thing we can do um, is 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 to engage the politics and just vote as biblically as we can with the understanding that neither party will ever check all of our boxes. Um, there will always be something in either party that we can say that's not Christ-like or God wouldn't be pleased because there are flawed people who, who, who run the political process. Um, so when I stand before the Lord, I just want to know that I voted as biblically as I could, um, knowing that it, not, I knowing that I, that there would still be, if I voted for this person, that would still maybe be some things that, um, I disagree with or something like that. And that's what I've learned too, is that everyone is not bothered by the same things that bother me. So that's a lesson that I've learned as well, kind of as I uh, reflect on the last video and some of the reactions uh, there are other things that are more important to 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 others. Sometimes I think we think as Christians that um, what outrages you may outrage other Christians, and I'm learning that's not true. Uh, and 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 I can go with that. Um, uh, it's hard for me to understand at times, especially when it comes to kids. But you know, it is what it is. So I just wanted to come on and apologize for my disposition in that last video. I hope that my disposition this time was better um, and, and that I brought some clarity to why I, I brought in the, the political part of it, because I do believe that that's something that um, we as Christians can sometimes um, shy away from. But um, when you, I think history has shown that, um, if we stay silent, um, things can get even worse. If we, because the scripture tells us that we ought to, in Jude um, three, that we ought to be contenders of the faith. Um, scripture tells us that yes, as we wait on Jesus to come back, we ought to occupy until He comes. Uh, and I want to be a good fighter. I want to be a good contender for the faith. Uh, that's my desire in all of this, and I hope that I can en encourage you along the way to be good contenders. Um, but as I st stated before, yes, we speak the truth. We speak it with compassion. We speak it with love. And I apologize for the fact that in that last video, the love and the compassion wasn't there, even for the drag queen, because we have to have compassion even for people in the LGBTQ community because uh, Jesus died for them, too. And so I don't ever want to come across like I don't. Uh, have that compassion and, and and Jesus died as a ransom for all and I have to live my life like that and my presentation has to be like that as well so once again my apologies and as usual keep your faith in front